Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my entire MZ Wallace collection. When I say entire, it's literally four pieces. I used to have five, but that item is no longer with me because it sucked. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'll talk about that a little bit later. I do not recommend that one, but these are working out great. So let me just, in no particular order, I'll tell you how long I've had each item and how it's holding up and why I think it's so good. Okay, so let's move these out of the way for now. This one here is the Metro Crossbody. Actually, my daughter uses this a lot, so we kind of share it, but this is perfect as a hand free crossbody it is very comfortable with this thicker sort of like seat belt strap it is entirely adjustable nothing digging in at all it's not removable though so something to keep in mind it is an attached strap this is the navy blue I've got the official name of the color but it's like a dark navy midnight color which is really pretty it's got the silver hardware I love how MZ Wallace always puts these chunky zippers I've talked about this until I've been blue in the face in the past because zipper quality is so important Without a good zipper, it can snag, it can rust, it can just be really wonky over time. So this chunky zipper on every pocket here is really bonus. I love it. And I love that it just... I don't know, it's low maintenance, I don't have to worry about it. So this one here has two exterior pockets and I'm gonna show you actually this smaller pocket, even though it looks quite small, it does fit the largest size iPhone. So here is an iPhone 13 Pro Max case, okay? And the smaller pocket here, you would think it doesn't fit, but it actually does fit upright just like that without any peaking and it closes up perfectly fine, no issues. Okay, so you can put that there for easy grab and go. And this is what the interior looks like. So it's all of that wipeable, really easy to clean, low maintenance nylon interior. And then it's got a smaller pocket here if you wanted to put like a valet ticket, a parking, um, ticket metro card cash coins whatever lip balm so there you have it and other items can fit as well because this sort of expands as the nylon is very cushioned and so it has a little bit of give let me close that up i'll leave that in there and then the main compartment here opens like so and i've got if you know me you guys know i have long fingers pretty big hands and my hands go in and out there is no scraping no obstruction to getting inside the bag. So even though it looks kind of narrow, it's not, trust me, it's never been an issue. And then bonus back pocket here with a magnetic closure. So a lot will fit here as well if you wanted to put something a little bit more secure that's close to your body, maybe passport, cash. Let me see if passports fit actually, I've never tried that, hang on a second. Okay, let me be true to my words. I wanna test this before I say a passport can fit. Actually, a passport can fit, yes. So I'm sure multiple passports can fit because there's a lot of space here. But here is a passport and voila. So this is really nice. It's a great travel bag. It's a great just grab and go. And it can be shared throughout your family if you wanted to do that as my daughter and I do. My son can wear it as well. My husband, why not, right? So there is a little bit of that Vaquetta leather trim and all of the MZ Wallace bags have that. It's sort of signature. And this is the kind of leather that will patina over time. So the oils from your hands and any water droplets will change this and might even stain it. But as you can see, this has been maybe about a little under two years and I see no issues here. It's looking pretty nice. The color has darkened a little bit, so it's not as stark white, but otherwise really good. So I think this is a really good bag. It's a no brainer. Next is this one here, which is my all time favorite backpack. And I'm gonna talk about this little snag here in a minute. This backpack is the one that me, my daughter, and my son fight over. It's, it's, it's essentially my bag, okay? But my daughter thinks it's hers. And anytime there is a trip or outing, they are like, I want that bag. Why? It's just a backpack, right? Well, it's so comfortable. All of this quilted nylon that has a cotton foam inside, it's just very soft and comfortable. It feels nice to the touch. It feels nice on the body. These straps here are super cushioned. This backpack, is about five to six years old, I wanna say. I had this before I started my YouTube channel. So again, it's that really nice midnight blue with the silver hardware. I like this color. And you'll see how it compares against the black, right? Subtle, but really noticeable how there's blue hues here. And so this is called a city backpack. I just think it's so simple and well-constructed. And by the way, this is a minor detail, but for me, it's a big deal. This strap, as it's adjustable, 
right? It adjusts within itself, meaning that it loops back within itself. So there's no extra loose strap piece hanging down. Now, because I share this with my kids and they're smaller than me, if there was that extra piece hanging down, you know, there'd be like a tail on each end. And when they sit down and when they walk around, it's flopping around. It's also messy and doesn't look aesthetically very pleasing. So even for myself, when I'm wearing this, I love that it's so tidy. And look at the hardware. This is five-year-old or probably older now hardware and it looks just as shiny and just as new there are no issues with tarnishing no nicks nothing even the strap and this bag has seen the bottom of cars trunks um, airplanes many many airplane trips uh, playground the dirt and sand on a playground yes because I use this when my kids were younger snacks drinks all kinds of stuff was packed in here and thrown around I did not baby this at all so here's what the main compartment looks like it has the large zipper pocket back here it's quite large swallows my hand and then you've got two open compartments. MZ Wallace does nylon really well and also does the functionality when it comes to compartments and pockets really well. So I appreciate that. You've got another little pocket here and two more pockets here. So very roomy. Let me just see something. I'm going to take my phone. And this is, again, the large iPhone Pro Max size. And that fits in one of these. So that's nice. I didn't even know that because I usually keep my phone out on this pocket. This little outside pocket for easy access but here's what it looks like on the inside and you've got this little attachment so you can remove this and it's nice that it comes with its own matching pouch and you can put liquids in here you can put I used to actually put the wrappers for my kids snacks like garbage and Ziploc bags in here until I could get to a trash bin but you can use this for anything you can use this for toiletries so it's really a nice add and it's roomier than you would think. I did a full review years ago. It fits like a full-size notebook. It's good. Um, an iPad will fit in here. Now, let me talk to you about this. So I don't know if MZ Wallace has since updated this design where maybe this nylon is pulled back. I don't know. I didn't really zoom in and study the new model. I think it's essentially the same, maybe a little bit better than this original because the way this overhangs, it's my fault. I wasn't looking as to what I was doing. Like I said, this bag has been everywhere and not babied at all. And I just, zoop, zoop, I was closing it without looking. I was probably running after my kids and it got stuck on this. It must've been folded down. So the zipper literally just went zoop, like ran over the nylon and because the zipper is quite durable and strong which is a good sign it cut right through okay this is nice soft quilted nylon but it's not indestructible so you can see the cotton foam in there and by the way when it first cut through it was tiny and now it's been like five or six years so this is opening up a little bit I could probably patch this up and sew it but this is not actually you know, preventing me from using the bag or enjoying it in any way. It's still perfectly fine in my opinion. It's just that there's a little bit of foam showing. And this is the outside pocket. And you've got compartments within the pocket. So if you're looking for a really nice, comfortable, water resistant, but not waterproof, none of these are waterproof, water resistant, if you are soaked in torrential rain, it will go through. That has happened to me in the past. Um, with this bag, which I'll talk about next. But otherwise, if you want a really comfortable, nice looking backpack that looks like it's not a school bag, you know, it just, I don't know, it looks a little bit more polished in some way, even though it's very casual. I love it. Highly recommend the city backpack. And then this one was my first MZ Wallace purchase. I might have bought these on the same day. So this also is about five or six years old in the black. Look at this. Now this, because these are the handles, really a lot of patina, right? And this I have to show you in terms of wear and tear. This is the only spot I really have to mention. So there was, again, my fault. <laughs> there was a little piece of loose thread here. If, I'm gonna give you a close up. You see how the threading is actually very neat and well done. But there was a loose piece of thread and I am just, you know, I pick at things and I, I just can't keep my hands off. So I was picking at it and then I, pulled it, which I shouldn't have done. I probably just should have snipped it or burned it a little bit, but I pulled it. And of course it unraveled. And then I was like, whoops. And I stopped. So this is my work. <laughs> 
Um, and so if it unravels up here, it's going to unravel down here because it has been sewn on both ends. And so you can see it can pull up. But I can easily get this fixed. But again, this has not been a priority for me because it's not preventing me from enjoying the bag. So I haven't done anything about it. It's been like this for years. Luckily, it's not unraveling all the way. So this is a discontinued bag, but there's another tote bag that I would recommend, which I'll share in a minute. This is the Max Tote. And I really like this one because it has a flat base. It's got the little leather tabs as feet. Plus I like the silhouette. It's a little bit more symmetrical and I love the outside pockets. So I would put drinks here, my kids' drinks, right? I put all that in here, phone fits. It's really deep. Here it is and it goes all the way in so it's very secure it doesn't peek out it's like up to about here here it is the top of the largest iphone and then i like the black because it's the black on black look so it's sort of monochromatic and then on the other side there is another pocket now after this original one was made available and i snapped it up and bought it look that fits as well then a few years later they updated this and they made the back a luggage sleeve or a trolley sleeve so that the sleeve would open up on the bottom and you can plop it right on top of your rolling luggage and it would be such a good travel bag. So when that became available, I was kind of tormented like, oh, what do I do? Should I get the new one? It would have felt too repetitive and then I, what would I do with this? So I just kept using this one, but and you guys know I've really been researching a lot of travel bags and have found other ones. I'm gonna talk about this in a minute. So yeah, this is discontinued, but there's another one that I think is a really nice bag if you want an alternative to the Metro. Here, I'll just show you the inside. I won't spend too much time on this because this isn't available anymore, but again, the pouch. So I am going to insert a photo here of the one that I think is a really good tote design with the exterior pockets. And it looks like the straps are gonna be more comfortable and sit really nicely on the shoulder because they're a little bit thinner. And sometimes when the straps are thinner, but still cushioned, it's not gonna like slide off. So I think this is a really good one if you like it aesthetically. I'll link it down below as well as an alternative to the Max Tote, again, since it's not available. But considering this bag has been everywhere, this was actually a work bag when I used to go into the office, I would put wet umbrellas in here. I would throw my laptop, which was really big and heavy. It was an old laptop, notebooks, folders. I mean, I would put so much in here and then I would literally just chuck this on the bottom of my office floor. Like I would run into my office in the mornings, take my stuff out and throw it under my desk in my office. And I didn't care, you know, and it, it could have been wet from the rain or the snow. And I feel like it's held up really well. And in terms of the quilting, someone had asked me about whether or not the quilting is pilling. And you can see for yourself, there's absolutely no pilling on this one. And again, it's like at least five years old. So there's nothing aside from me basically pulling on the thread and ruining that top version, um, the top portion. It looks like everywhere else is just, just fine. Better than I expected, actually. Okay, and then the last one, I did a full review on this recently, so I'll link that video up above. I don't wanna get into all the details, but this is my favorite travel bag now, and it does have the exterior pocket here. It's got the cushioned quilting and the handles, which are really comfortable. It's lightweight, it fits so much. I showed in that video how much it fits. It has the luggage sleeve, whoops. So you can pull this open, it has a zipper. So you can plop this right onto your rolling suitcase, but you can also close it up if you want to use it as a pocket. I mean, so much going on here. I know that a few of you already bought this after my review. It's really that good. So I'm going to link this down below as well so you can do more research on it and zoom in on the photos and look at all the details on the website. But this is a no-brainer for me. But because it's newer, there's really no wear and tear that I can show you. I have taken this on over 30 hours of flight time on multiple plane trips. I've taken it on weekend trips. So I've used it on a number of occasions in a short period of time and I feel like it is so good the only thing that I'm seeing is slight color change a little bit of patina as I'm you know grabbing this especially as I was traveling over the summer with sweaty hands and humidity but that is to be expected I don't consider that to be wear and tear I feel like that is just normal use right so Again, this is reviewed in detail, like a really in-depth video that I did recently. So go ahead and watch that if you missed it. And um, let me know if you're a fan of MZ Wallace. Oh, I promised to share with you the other item. So the fifth one was this belt bag. Oh man, 
This belt bag was so promising, but the buckle is heavy and it digs in when you move and when you sit down. Proportionally, I don't think the balance is right because the belt bag itself is pretty small and lightweight and then the buckle on the other side is like heavy and sort of drags you down. It didn't feel comfortable across the chest. It was really meant to again share with my daughter and she didn't like it either, so we wound up just donating it. So I don't recommend the belt bags or so many other options that are less expensive and just better in design but these bags here I do very much enjoy and for those of you who've been asking do I still have my older MZ Wallace bags yes 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 and I am a fan of the new as well as the old and I hope this video has been helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time bye bye